We are live in New Marriott Hotel, GRA, Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. Oh yes, it's the 2021 World Class Leadership Award. Lots of Nigerians will be going home with awards for their hard work and consistency towards developing the economy. And not just the economy, but the whole of Africa. So we don't want you to go anywhere. Just keep it locked on on NABN TV as we bring you live updates on the show. NABN TV's 2021 World Class Leadership Award. The new Africa Broadcasting Network, NABN TV, has hosted its first awards show since the COVID 19 pandemic that shut down Nigeria in 2020. The awards ceremony, which was held at the newly commissioned Marriott Hotel in Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria, was attended by guests from around the world, including government representatives, lawmakers, veteran filmmakers, business tycoons, entrepreneurs, members of the media, and even the king and the royal family. The NABN-TV World Class Leadership Awards were given to Nigerians who have distinguished themselves in various fields. Honorable Abike Dabiri Eroa, a former member of the Nigerian Federal House of Representatives and presently the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of Nigerian in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM, was honored for her contributions to her community, her country, and humanity in general. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I mean, I've received awards, I mean, I think I have almost 350. But none compares to this. Even holding the plaque alone, as Dr. Baker said, even the queen could receive this. <laughs> So for me, really, it's a, I feel highly honored and humbled that this distinguished team found me worthy of this award. And when I say that, you are not a team of, like you say, you're not looking for anything. Rather, you want to give back, you want to encourage uh, people like us to give more. So I'm really deeply grateful. I'm actually very emotional about this. Because when some of the time you do these things, you never know where it's going to get you. And um, like Dr. Baker said, it's all about compassion and commitment. And one thing that is missing in Nigeria today, particularly in governance, is that there's no compassion anymore. You know, that money is meant to build roads, to take care of our children, to fix Medicare. Why, do, why, why is it being stolen? Why are things not being done the way they should be done? And this you call World Class Leadership Award. I feel very humble to be in that category. And I hope that we'll continue to do whatever we can, wherever we find ourselves. You don't have to be the president of Nigeria. Wherever you find yourself, put in your very best. So I'm deeply humbled, but I'll speak briefly about the diaspora. As Dr. Baker said, Nigerians in the diaspora, people like you, Mr. Adedeji, my brother, Dr. Leo, they are the best in the world. Dr. Ernest Obiegesi, founder of the Obi Jackson Foundation and executive chairman of Nestoil Nigeria, also received an award for his philanthropic, selfless work and leadership qualities. Uh, I want to be on behalf of the uh, Board of Directors of uh, NDP TV. I have the greatest pleasure to present this award for your meritorious service to humanity, for your adding value I think, um, I don't know how I'm feeling now, but um, I can only try to express my um, inner feelings about what is going on here. Um, I will want to say that um, I feel um, delighted I feel honored, I feel humbled by uh, this award. I know I've um, received many awards and I know that uh, people keep uh, coming to ask me, they want to honor me and all that. But um, I don't think I appreciate any of those awards better than this. This is a special award 
world in the sense that um, nobody asks me for money. I know, I know that um, a lot of awards, before you, you get to receive it, or before they visit you two times, <laughs> uh, there will be proposals and envelopes flying all over your office. But this award is one that um, I was interviewed. I talked to um, journalists. I was also given a date to come for it. Nobody gave me or nobody asked me for anything. So that one alone makes this award a very special one. And I feel touched. Chairman and CEO of Channels TV, Nigeria, John Momo, was given the NABN TV Award for his extraordinary contributions to journalism in Nigeria, Africa, and worldwide. He said to say thank you for the award and that he's truly honored to have received it and that it's even a greater honor to have been placed in the ranks of the distinguished fellow awardees, all of whom have done and made important contributions to a great nation, Nigeria. And he'd like to say special thanks to the New Africa Broadcasting Network for this kind motivation and that he will continue to do more. Professor Elias Bogoro, Executive Secretary of the Tertiary Education Fund, TED Fund, was among distinguished Nigerians honored. A keynote address by the chairman of the award committee, the distinguished Senator Patrick Ayo Akinulare, told the award recipients and guests attending that the theme of this award ceremony was to recognize individuals who have impacted their communities, our beloved country, Nigeria, and the world at large through their humanitarian and industrial achievements over the years. Executive Governor of Lagos State, traditional rulers here present, the awardees, their families and friends here present, invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It's a keynote address delivered by the Senior Center Yuaki RFCA at the occasion of the World Class Leadership Award by NABNT. The World Class Leadership Award is a ceremony organized by NBA TV, which is sent out to celebrate the Nigerians' dream, our purpose, our drive, and the authentic spirit of greatness and aspirations. The pivot and core values of the ceremony is to celebrate outstanding personalities that has affected their communities, our beloved country, and the world at large. By their humanitarian and industrial strike over the years, we understand how many times we forget to celebrate the highlights of our beloved country and our citizens. And this has passed the need for this special ceremony. To re-emphasize the need for all Nigerians to love this country. This is the best country over the world. It's the best. Therefore, we should be proud of Nigeria. Like an American, we say, I love Americans. But here, we preach news about what happened in a negative way in Nigeria. And that is what NAPTA TV is having to preach to the world that there are good Nigerians to be celebrated. And this country, we must always celebrate our country. The significance of NABN TV's award was explained by Terence Baker, a member of NABN TV's board of directors and co-chair of the award committee. Today is a very special occasion and this is a very special opportunity for me to do something uh, that I've long dreamed about. Nigeria is at a crossroads where the future has never been greater and the opportunities for Nigeria to become a world leader is more than just population of being the third most populated nation in the world, but it's about what you see in Nigerians. 
both Nigerians in America and Nigerians here and abroad is some of the most incredible workforce the world has ever known. Intelligence, brilliance, drive, compassion. And so, as so goes Nigeria, so goes the 54 nations of this continent. When we designed the award, we knew that the materials that went into the award had to not only honor you, but had to uh, be a blessing in your life. And so you're not going to be able to see these awards because you're so far away. But we started off with solid cherry. Okay? Solid cherry. Now what does cherry stand for? It stands for strength. It stands for beauty. It stands for commitment. It stands for honor. And among the Japanese, there is no greater wood honored than the cherry tree. Cherry trees, cherry wood has been used around the world by kings and queens and leaders since the beginning of time. And then we knew about rubies. And some of the finest rubies and ruby marble in the world comes from Africa. And the ruby is mentioned more time in the Bible than diamonds or any other stone. And so we knew that the African ruby was unique and special long-lasting, sought-after qualities that you can't find any other stone in the world. And then finally is gold. We knew that gold is a value. Gold signifies strength. It signifies dignity. You notice the streets of heaven, we understand, are paved with gold. And so this award brings in gold as a third component. Because we believe that the cherry wood, the strength of the cherry, the, sh the beauty of the ruby, and the dignity and prestige of the gold is unlike any award you've ever seen before. And I think that this award, if you will place it in a place that shines over you, will bring you health and continued success throughout the remainder of your life here. That's what we believe at NABN TV. Besides being the chairman of the board of directors of NABN TV, Nigeria, a sister company of the New Africa Broadcasting Network, NABN, Dr. Leo Egbujiobi explained the mission and vision of NABN TV. We at uh, NABN TV, we're mostly Nigerians, but like, as you can see, we are foreign. We are not necessarily very adapt to the local thing that we left behind. Um, but the mission of NMTV is the mission and dedication to deal with Africa to the rest of the world and the world with Africa. We can define who we are by what we do and what programs we run. We run doctors in the house. And that's where we, from overseas, talk to physicians across the world to discuss problems of health and management. You know what? There are good people in Nigeria who are doing good things, and nobody knows about that. So we said, I'm angry. So our job then is to pick up the good and the pain and suffering many honorable people are doing in this country to keep the chief above. So look at the good and the glory in all individuals and bring it to the land. Moses Adediji, the president and founder of NABN TV, thanked the guests for attending and advised the awardees to view the award as a symbol of unity and love among Nigerians. He said NABN TV is committed to shifting the narrative about Nigeria. He also encouraged Nigerians to explore ways to uplift Nigeria, the giant of Africa, at this crucial juncture. Let's take from this complete gentleman and the other our things that we can do for Nigeria, what Nigeria has done for us. So what are we giving back to Nigeria? Of course. Should be what? We have to stop doing that. We have to stop believing ourselves. We have to stop seeing ourselves. Nigeria is the child of Africa. 
As part of his closing remarks, His Royal Highness Emeka Okezi, the Oka Ije of Okija, thanked NABN TV for organizing the ceremony. In addition, His Royal Highness urged the organizers of the award to include Nigeria's youth in future editions. We are thanks to everybody. We are the press. I want to thank you people for your conduct too. You have done so well too. And the guests. But however, I will not go without uh, asking for more. Uh, Dr. Bega, your team, uh, you've done this and I want you to do more. Dr. Terence Baker, one of the board members of NABN TV was presented with a special gift by the king as a token of his unflinching support for Nigerians and Africans alike. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Afolo, vice president of global operations of NABN TV, served as the MC for the event. We can now all sense his passion uh, for Nigeria. On the red carpet, Joy Adediji, member of the board of directors and chairperson of NABN TV's charity initiative, encouraged the youth to look up to a role model who is inspirational and positively impacts their lives. You have to work hard and you have to have a role model. Who is that person that you aspire to be like? It doesn't have to be a negative uh, personality. Somebody who you think is doing good things out there. You have to have someone who you look up to as a role model. And then you strive hard, never give up. Just know that it may seem like it's not working right now. I was just like one of them. But it takes hard work, perseverance, persistence to get to where you are. Forget what you see on social media, people throwing money. Some of those things are fake. 99% of them are fake. Work hard, stay in school, stay focused, do the right thing. You will get there. Just be persistent. You will get there. It's only a matter of time. The goal is to try to change the narrative of Africa, especially Nigeria, because sometimes you watch the news, all you see is negative. But it's not all negative. Look where we are. This is Nigeria. So people see the news, they see huts, people jumping on trees, they think that's what Africa looks like. So our goal is to try to rebrand Nigeria using media. And you know right now, social media is so powerful. And I know the Igwe had talked about reaching the young people. They may not be here, but we know they're going to see this. Because you can't, how many young people can you get in here? So we want to use media as a, as a form to reach young people, to inspire young people. That's why we use this first, our deeds, because these people are so inspirational. Hopefully this goes on every year, and the more we do it, the more we recognize people, the more others want to be just like them. So hopefully all this can take us to the next level. NABN-TV, inspiring a new generation.